Hey everyone, welcome in today's video. It's gonna be a bit of a different format. I got a lot of questions. So today I'm gonna to answer a bit of an affording way through a like or a dislike to a certain point. Pineapple on pizza, I like it. Sorry, not every day, but I like it. I know it's not Italian. I like the very basic margarita, maybe a bit of parma ham on top of a pizza. I don't like crazy pizza. The only thing I could say about crazy pizza is that I like pineapple on it. Gearbox, do I like automatic gearbox or manual gearbox? I mean, I like the manual gearbox for sure. Much better, you get a feel, you can control what your car does. Saying that nowadays with all the traffic jam, having the automatic gearbox that does pretty much everything for you is pretty good. And I must say that some car manufacturer have nailed it. Pattern shift works really, really well. So if I have the choice, I go for manual gearbox, but I do understand the beauty of the automatic gearbox. Women in motorsport, I like that. I like that a lot. I would like to see more. It's great. To to, uh, you know, we have the chance that motorsport is uh, is open to every sex because the physical part, at least on the driver's standpoint, is not. It's important, but it's not predominant. Women have got uh, have got a chance, and they can race in category as men, which I like. I like to see women on the timing stands and the engineer office. I've got a couple working my car in IndyCar. And I think it's just great that we get that mix going on. Six sprint races in Formula One, I dislike that. I don't like the sprint races. I think a qualifying should be a qualifying and that should uh, set up your starting grid. The race should be good enough on Sunday that you don't have to try to create something with sprint races on Saturday. Fast and Furious movie, yeah, I like them. They're fun. They've, they've got nothing right about racing. You know, when they're full throttle and flat out RPM, they kind of downshift one gear and they accelerate. That's never gonna happen in real life. But there's good stories there's good racing there's nice cars so i like them a fair championship in formula one due to new rules i like that i like that a lot even though it's still a big team at the front i feel like the midfield has become a little bit more even more unpredictable i feel like some drivers could uh, at least at the beginning of the season show their skills obviously more we go into the season more the big team take the advantage and, and get better but uh, i do like the new rules TikTok or instagram 100 percent instagram I do not know how to dance. I'm a terrible dancer, so I guess TikTok was made for that initially. I'm a very uh, Instagram guy. Charles Leclerc, I like Charles Leclerc. I think he's a great, he's, first of all, he's a very, very talented driver. Great human being, funny guy. I met him when he was a reserve driver for Haas back in 2016, and the first time he jumped in the car, you could tell that he had something special. So I like that. We've got close relationship due to our mother language, French, and I like his passion for racing. Grand effect, I love grand effect, I think ground effect is uh, the best way to get racing you know the wing are good but the wing gets a lot of dirtier from the car that follows you whereas the ground effect doesn't rely on that and works pretty much all the time so if you want really good racing you need ground effect on the car development of engines frozen i dislike that Formula One should always try to bring new technology through to the engineers and pushing the limit. So it would be great to have development. American Swiss cheese, I, I dislike it. And I'm gonna have a lot of trouble for saying that, but the American Swiss cheese, it's, it's got nothing from Switzerland, uh, I'm sorry. In Wisconsin, they do curd, which is good. It tastes nice, but I, I cannot call it cheese. So cheese is very French and very Swiss. Larger rims, 18 inch rims and better tire, a more rusting, lasting tire in Formula One. Yes, I like that. I was very skeptical initially on those 18, 18 rims, but actually look pretty good. The tires seem to be holding better than they were. So that was better racing and I like that. Pato World, I like Pato World. He's a funny guy, he's a great character, he's a very talented driver. He's always super friendly, he's always very respectful on track. So I really like Pato World. Silverstone, I like it. Obviously it is the home of Formula One. I prefer the old Silverstone circuit than the new one. I had more character, I felt, but the past that remains is absolutely uh, outstanding. Cops, maggots, beckets, chapel, store corner, they're brilliant. Snakes, I dislike. It's more than dislike. I really, really don't like snakes. There are a few in Miami, and that's a bit of a problem. I think mean, they are scared from me as I am from them. Drive to Survive on Netflix, I like that. Obviously, it made Formula One very, very popular. They kind of decided the angle for every team, right? Who was the good boy, who was the bad boy? It was a bit of a scenario in that aspect, but to discover the behind the scene of Formula One that's been so close for so many years, that has been outstanding. Oval circuit, 
Initially, I wasn't a massive fan of it. No, I really like it. It's very technical. It's very, very specific. Coming from Europe, you just think you're gonna turn left and go flat out. First time you go on the novel, you realize that there's a little bit more than that. And the um, more it goes, more I, I like it. Especially the short ovals, the short track. I feel like you, there's a lot going on and, uh, and you can play a lot with the car, which is uh, really enjoyable. Overtaking Monaco, I dislike it. Every time you try, you pretty much finish in a crash. Monaco is an exceptional race absolutely outstanding qualifying and, and flying through the world uh, it's brilliant the race itself sadly i think the cars have just gone too big too wide too long too big they just made the racing a bit too complicated in monaco but the whole event is brilliant and you know that your race uh, has to be decided on saturday during qualifying people calling me romain instead of romain i don't mind i think my my name romain grosjean is, is so french in terms of pronunciation that i can't blame anyone calling me romain grosjean I don't mind it. I know some people people feel bad about, about saying my name wrong, but don't you worry. I'm okay with it and I, I get it absolutely. Keelan Pie, I like it. I just finished one. It's a really nice pie. I like everything which is citrusy. So obviously Keelan Pie, I really enjoy it. Kite surfing in the US instead of Europe. Uh, kite surfing is great everywhere. I like kite surfing everywhere. Having my favorite spot being Mauritius. Miami is a pretty good one too. But you know, Lake Geneva in the summer when you get that good wind, La Bise can be very nice. You be kite surfing and there's the Mont Blanc on the backdrop. So there's a lot of good place to kite surf. Now I live next to the beach in Miami, so it makes it easier to get to. Well guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed that type of video, please let me know. Give me some suggestions. Always happy to hear what we can do better. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye-bye.